Mission Aid International Kenya started its work in Mombasa in 1997. The project area is located within Mombasa municipality, traversing the two constituencies of Kisauni and Likoni. In Kisauni division, it covers five villages, namely Kisimani, Bombolulu, VOK, Mkunguni and Ziwalangombe. The development initiative has an estimated population of 77,000. Land in Mombasa is classified as either trust land, private or government land. The community in Mombasa is unable to own and control land due to strict development conditions for leasehold, lack of security of tenure, limited availability of land, and land speculation and land development. When ActionAid started in 1997, the education standard in the target area was generally low, evidenced by poor performance in national examinations and low school attendance, especially by girls. The situation was attributed to poor attitude of parents towards education, inadequate facilities such as desks, classrooms, toilets, and an unfavorable learning environment. Action Aid worked directly with three primary schools in Kisauni, ten primary schools in Likoni with a total population of approximately 12,000 children and five community schools with a total student population of 3,000 children. Child sponsorship was introduced in the year 2000 and grew to a high of 1,500 sponsored children. Currently, there are 960 sponsored children in the development initiative. My name is Faith Damamwenda. I'm 19 years old. Currently, I'm undertaking my diploma in nursing in KMTC Kilifi. I completed my Form 4 education in Company Girls Secondary School in 2009. As for my KCP, I completed in 205 in Zuelangombe Primary School. When we were in primary school, the condition of our school was poorly in terms of performance and also co-curriculum activities. But luckily we, we got sponsorship from ActionAid. They brought us some desks, some computers. They also introduced a girls forum because there were cases of girls dropping out of school because of cases of early pregnancies or early marriages. We were empowered as girls. If I had not gone through standard eight and passed my exam, my dreams, which I had in future, would have been shattered. Initially, I wanted to work with the community, and by being a nurse, I'll be interacting with the community. I'll be helping them to have the good health they could ever want in, uh, in my community in general. Violence against girls in education has been a major contributory factor to the low enrollment and retention of girls in primary school education. The initiation of a girls' forum in all Action Aid funded schools has provided a safe space for girls to explore their potential as well as get help in dealing with psychosocial issues. These clubs have gone to strengthen the guidance and counseling structures in schools and have had a great impact on the performance of girls in primary schools. I'd say the impact is very good. Our girls have really changed. The early pregnancy is no longer there, no enloping. Most of our girls are now completing class 8 and they are leading in KCP exams. The last three years, we had our girls being the top. And when it comes to enrollment, we have got more girls in our classes than boys. And they are performing even more better. You can find out in a class of four streams, three streams, girls are leading from number one to number three. Na yuwa mtu wa kinyambeti sigu uso pimples sigu nini na yuwa vile nitamuambia. Na hata sayi na shukuru sana gasframu imenieka siku kama mnyonge kama ni mvokuwa. From now ni kosaa tunaona kama nuna wale mbao kwa ni chezea ndo sayi na wana wale wako chini. Kuduko mimi. Azapa, benda ni dansa tu.
support towards infrastructure development in the schools such as building of classrooms and toilets, provision of desks and learning materials and computer rooms were advanced to improve attendance and retention of pupils in schools. The introduction of girl-friendly pit toilets has made a big difference in the consistency and attendance and subsequently performance of girls in schools. When Action Aid came, they were to provide us with pit latrines because especially when the girls are in their periods, they would have blocked the, you know, the toilets. When they put up the pit latrines, it's, it's fun for the girls. Yeah, they like it. Sisi wa sana likuwa hatuji shule kwa sababu tosema ah mi likuwa kwenye period sendi shule ni kichafuka nita watu wataniambia watu watasema lakini na watu wakusawa mtu wajua ni kwa kwenye period nitafanya nini na nitaenda shule na nita kwa safe kwanza subui paka jioni. In 1997, the status of women was low. They were sidelined in decision-making and in leadership positions. Many were being abused and did not know where to get help. To reverse this situation, ActionAid worked with the communities and other structures to form a regional women's movement, Sauti Awanawake, which means women's voice, with over 3,000 members. Sauti ilianza mwaka elfu mbili. Mwaka huo ilipuanza sauti ilianza kutokana na marafiki zetu Action Aid eh, katika ile reflection and review yao ambao wanafanya kila mwaka. Ikaonesha kuwa sisi wanawake haswa wa Mombasa hatujitokezi katika shughuli za kimaendeleo kwa sababu ya kwanza ni mila na desturi pili dini zetu especially jamii yetu ya Mombasa wengi wetu ni waislamu na tatu ni umaskini na nne ni ile hali ya kuweza kusimamia na kumiliki mali sasa hiyo ndiyo ile tufanya kuna haja sisi kina mama tuje pamoja tujaribu kuongea sauti zetu zitoke sauti zikitoka ile pazia ambayo ilikuwa kwa imetufinika tupate kuiondoa ili tuweze kusimama na kutetea haki zetu other than creating awareness on women's rights to the community, they assist women with problems such as domestic violence, land and property inheritance, and provide reproductive health information to women. Impact ya sauti kusema kweli kutoki ya tulipo anza paka sasa ni vile ambavyo sahi sisi wanawake tunaweza kuongea. Manake kwanza lukwa kuongea hatuwezi. Kwanza mila na kuambia pia na dini yetu lakini hivi sasa mwanamke akija sauti kama amedhulumika yeye mwenyewe kabla hujamuuliza yuaongea lakini kitambo waweza kwa amedhulumika ukimuuliza hasemi yualia 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 alafu yuaenda zake lakini hivi sasa sahi wanaongea na ambapo katika vijiji vyetu mama kama andhulumika kama hivi yomwambia twende zetu ngakupeleke sauti ya kina mama utakwenda saidika sasa hivyo ni vitu ambavyo sahi tuakuta ni impact kule kupokea zile cases na vile kina mama sahi tuko mstari wa mbele kwa kuongea When Action Aid started working in Mombasa, access to water was also a major problem. The quantity and quality of water was poor, and this resulted in waterborne diseases such as typhoid and dysentery. 
Action Aid completed several water projects, including drilling boreholes and providing water storage tanks to schools and communities, improving the sanitation, hygiene and lifestyles of over 20,000 people. Kina tusaidia kwa sababu sisi ni wamama tuna kazi na tuna watoto wanaenda shule inatusaidia kama sasa mama ana mtoto wake pengine anataka vitabu shule ni ya bure lakini kwa takana vitabu kwa takana uniform akija akiomba nafasi ya tumpe pale akiuza maji pale anaenda na faulu anamlea mtoto wake maji pia imekuwa ni karibu maji pia ni masafi ameondoa magonjo Cases of waterborne diseases in the community have been eradicated completely, while cases of absenteeism among school going children who spent a lot of time fetching water has been reduced. Mama pia alikuwa kichoka sana. Maana alikuwa akienda long distance kutafuta hiyo maji. Lakini kwa sasa anashukuru bwana anapata kwa karibu na mlango. Maji ni safi, mazuri kwa kunywa na kwa kutumia. Water projects have also supported initiatives to promote agricultural production through training farmers on good crop management practices and diversification in arid areas to promote food security. Action Aid supported the Tegemeo Women Group and uh, now they are very busy because they are buying cereals, they are buying maize and selling to the community they are doing a lot of uh, a lot of portion mill business there and we are seeing them uh, becoming a more and more strong group of uh, women and their lives are changing malengo yetu ya tegemeo men group kufanya biashara ndogo ndogo kuinua kina mama kiuchumi yani tuweze kupata mapato na tuweze kusomesha watoto wetu akionedi kaona umuhimu wakaona sisi vile wakina mama tunabidi ndio wakaamua tena kutusupport sasa wakatutafutia mota wakatuproposal tukaandika proposal tuka wakatufadili mota but li mota tutukaeka tena tukarejesha posho mili kusema ukweli wa mama sasa hivi unajua wamerudi hata wale walikuwa wameanza kurudi nyuma wameona ni umuhimu tushikane tena pamoja na tufanye kazi pamoja na tuendeshe hii kazi maana kwa wameona umuhimu wake wale ambao si hatukufa moyo wametufuata sisi na tuko na wao pamoja na hata sasa hata juice tumekuwa na semina ya action aid niliona wamekuja kwa wingi ambapo sikuwa nimetarajia japokuwa wengine unakuta watu wengine wako na makazi zao lakini walijitokeza sababu wamejua umuhimu wa kuungana pamoja na kushikana pamoja maana kama mnaposhikana pamoja hakuna jambo lile linashinda lakini mnapokaa peke peke yako binafsi mambo mengi yanashinda Action Aid has also promoted effective participation of people in the management of government devolved funds, for example, Constituency Development Fund and the Local Authority Transfer Funds. I didn't expect I will be where I am, but it's for the um, for the aid of the sponsorship in one way or another that has seen me the fire sina la kusema bali ni kushukuru tu na kusema asante wamenisaidia sana nashukuru cuz wametutoa pahali wametutoa pahali kiasi cha kwa hivyo sasa tumejielewa kina mama sisi ni kina nani action aid tunaishukuru tukisema ni asante kwa ajili ya wao bibi zao na waendelee kuwa na moyo huo huo maana hata kuondoka kwao si ati wameondoka wameacha watu kabisa najua wanapatikana sehemu zingine pia kuwasaidia na tukinyemelewa naanza kutusaidia